The final anime of the Dark Trio is finally out. This is not an April Fool's joke if you think that's what this is. Hell's Paradise, the final anime of the Dark Trio, animated by Studio Mappa, has finally released their first episode. Before we talk about this, I would like to know what you guys think is the best anime of the Dark Trio between Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man, and Hell's Paradise. Tell me your answer in the comments and why. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Now, Hell's Paradise was always an interesting project to me. Obviously, because it's named saying it's in the dark trio some people say it's the best manga out of the dark trio but also clearly the one with the least recognition but just that title alone had me interested in the project another main interesting thing about this project is the production around it and how it would be received by viewers you see obviously as a studio mappa anime people are more receptive to the quality of the visuals that the series produces as they are with other shows under the same studio as well as from the pre-animated trailers and the anime that mappa studio has been taking up a common consensus amongst other people was that the show could not possibly hold top tier visuals, which is not inaccurate. I don't expect any ridiculous top tier Sakugo work in this show. The schedule for this show is not quite favorable, and couple that with the sheer amount of shows that are being made at this time, especially under Studio Mappa, there's not a lot of animators that could participate on this show that could give it the top tier visuals people expect it to have. With this, how it would be received is very important. As with the condition around the show, it was definitely not going to look as good as Jujutsu Kaisen or Attack on Titan this year, and definitely not going to be like Chainsaw Man. All three of these shows were bad significantly, even when at points they can pull out some amazing 2D Sakuga. So how would people feel about a show with none of that? With that being said, let's actually talk about the episode. Since I'm fairly new to the concept of Hell's Paradise and I haven't read the manga, I would say as an introductory episode, this episode's pretty cool. Just with the concept of everything, how he has to fight his way essentially through Hell, just to see his wife again, I think that's pretty good grounds for a good story. And with this anime being confirmed to only be one core, I'd love to see how far it gets into the story and how much depth it actually goes into. I think that's going to be one of the most interesting parts of it. Obviously, this is only the first episode, so there's only so much they can show so far. However, Hopefully down the line we can come to appreciate Gabi Maru's character and how he develops through the story. The visuals are okay. Like I said, it's not fair to expect this to be a Sakuga fest. It's clearly not meant to be. And once again, the production around this series doesn't seem to be that great. I mean, this first episode on its own has an incredible amount of animation directors, which while it isn't the main indicator of a unstable production, I do feel like for the first episode of this show, it shouldn't be something that's overlooked. Obviously characters are quite limited. Most of the episode is dialogue heavy all right we're not gonna get chainsaw man level character acting for everything even during the action bits of this episode it just looks okay nothing stellar and the compositing once again is just nothing stellar it's not like killing the scene though not like gg2 kaisen season one not even close it's just nothing stellar i will say one of the things that is really good about this episode is the effects animation i think the effects animation is by far the most visually stunning thing about this episode the different looks of fire is just really good to look at i love the way they twist and bend it's just really pretty Thing of twisting and bending this guy getting set on fire is absolutely hilarious. I'm not insane, I swear. But speaking of visually good things, let's talk about that opening. The opening looks really, really good. The compositing of the opening is just stunning. Some really, really good use of CGI. It feels ridiculously dynamic. Remember what I said about the effects animation? This takes it to a whole new level. Gabi Maru in the opening, the already stunning fire effects that he's been surrounded by, he twists and bends with some amazing facial expressions that are just incredible to look at. As he twists and his hand almost covers the camera, it turns into an impact frame that just looks like a painting as his skeleton is on full display. Just what? Also in the opening, we do get a glimpse of some of the characters that we're definitely going to see later on in the season. I'd love to know who actually directed this opening because it just looks glorious. The compositing, the art direction, dynamic camera movements, the transitions and the animation as a whole. Also the effects animation, all of those just make it look glorious. But I hope the actual anime holds some visuals on par with the opening itself. At least one or two scenes. Once again, it's impossible to expect this, especially with the schedule to have top tier animation all the time. But I have faith that they can pull through with something. The ending is pretty okay. Nothing stellar, it's pretty standard in itself. Not nearly as good as the opening, not even close. The ending theme itself is just pretty standard. But once again, a lot of the things of this episode is going to be standard. It is the first episode of the series again, but once again, not that much action. Obviously the animation isn't going to be that crazy, but you already know people are going to be hyper analyzing and nitpicking because it is a MAPPA episode 
with little to no sakuga and it's just whatever with this many anime you can't expect everything to be god tier that being said if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also ring that notification bell so you can get caught up whenever i post as i am going to be posting more and more often every couple of days with the multiple anime that are coming out this season with that being said i'm debunked by aaron i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'm signing out